Hello friends, welcome back to one more tutorial. In this tutorial, let's discuss on a function that is available in Excel that is sum, sum if and sum if. Okay, as you can see, we have a set of data here. So whenever you want to get a sum of a, you know, a set, then you will be using the sum function. It is just a direct way of getting the grand sum of number. Yeah, as you can see, I'm taking the sum of the entire list, then close the bracket, enter, you will get the complete sum. You can do it this way or just, you know, put equal to sign, alt, uh, equal to sign and still that works, okay, uh, using your keyboard. So this is one way of doing it. This is just a direct sum. What if you have a criteria that needs to be applied when you are getting the sum of certain items? For example, as I've uh, shown here, I need the cost of items which is above 100 rupees or else I need the cost of organic vegetables only. That is when the sum if or the sum ifs will come into picture. So here as you can see I cannot just use the sum function and get the um, item list item cost which is above 100 because we don't have a criteria that can be applied to normal sum function. Here when I use sum if then as you can type and see the function it is first asking for the range which one you want to calculate okay i'm going to give this complete set then i'm going to say my criteria what is your criteria is what it is asking the next one my criteria is i want to see all the cost which is above 100 okay and then close the bracket you could see the list of items which is which is getting the total of the list of item which is more than 100 rupees so the calculation would include this 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 and this because all these are less than 100 rupees and uh, the calculation would apply only on the items that has been highlighted so that is where the sum if will come into picture what if you have multiple criteria that needs to be applied to the set? Because sum if, if you if you can see, it has only one criteria. If you have more criteria, then sum if will not be useful. That is when the sum ifs should be used. So here you can see, I am looking for the cost of organic vegetables. So you can see the category is here and whether the category is organic or not is in some other list so i have two criteria that needs to be applied for this so here i'm going to make use of some ifs and say first when you say some ifs as you can see there's an extra s over there so that is the difference between some if and some ifs first it is asking for the sum range so i'll be taking the cost of it then i'm going to give the criteria so i'm going to say I'm looking for organic vegetables. So first let me select the category list. Under this category, what is that I'm looking for is vegetable. So let me highlight that vegetable. Then next when I put a comma, it is again looking for a criteria. You can see that. Now I'm looking for an organic vegetable. I, I know I've already selected vegetable. That is in you know B4. It is having a vegetable, right? So now let me select this organic list and then say yes because I want only organic vegetables. Then close your bracket. So I have two criteria that has been applied. Now when I enter, you can see the total sum of the organic vegetable is 130. If you manually check on this, it is a fruit, it's a meat, it's a vegetable but not organic. So these will not be included. But here if you see it's a vegetable and still organic. It will just take the count of these two. 80 plus 50 is 130. So that is what the total it is showing. So now you understood what is sum, what is um, sum if, and sum ifs, isn't it? So that is what I wanted to cover on this um, tutorial. Hope you all understood. If you have any doubts on this, or you would need more detail on these functions in Excel or anything related to SQL, please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com. I would be happy to 
respond and uh, do subscribe like my video and share to your family and friends